printer bot simple printing out some parts just to finish my my upgrade that I got going on right now there's a part in the last video with the bearings already on it I have so many of these bearings now I bought a pack of 30 for like 15 bucks so I just got a, a whole bundle full of bearings now Next up, I gotta make a spool holder because my spools just lay everywhere. But uh, yeah, so this is gonna go over here. I showed you these pieces go like so. Right? Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Whatever, I'll make a video when that's ready. And then the stepper motor are coming here, and then. In this batch, these two are end stops or tension blocks. Oh man, I forgot to make the, the belt wedge. And then those two are bearing ends, which is not like this bearing end. So these are like individual to the bearing, which I don't even think I need them because these things just fit so perfectly on there. Like, I don't know, it's just... I put them on there and it pushed just boom and they clicked right in. I'm afraid to take them off. So when I took this one off, I snapped it. So I, I'm just going to leave these on there. I'm going to tap out the holes with a little, with my screws. I got a kit over there in the toolbox. Hopefully this was the right size. So it seems that the bearings fit perfectly. So it gives me it gives me a lot of hope that everything else is gonna fit fine. Well, it kind of warped a little bit, or maybe that's just the table. Yeah, it was just hmm. Table's off. Nope, it's definitely the part. Um, I ran into this problem. I got like a little blob that it held and uh, it like deposited right there and then it skipped that layer. It's kind of pissing me off. But everything else turned pretty, pretty smooth actually. Just that little area right there. See the domes turned out amazing. Oh, great. Sorry, I keep printing this off or keep filming this off my phone so the quality is not the greatest. I'm just too lazy to get the camera out, video it, and then upload it onto the computer, then edit it, and then upload it on YouTube. Maybe I will start in the future, but when I want to do time lapse. But so far, kind of just seems like it takes too long. This fan is tweaking out, man. Can't figure out what speed it wants to go to. It's on 89. I try to keep it at 60 when I'm printing uh, when I'm printing parts that I want to turn out real nice. I'll put it on like 60 or or 40. Sometimes I just keep overriding it to turn it off, and it allows the plastic to like melt a lot better. Let me find the top piece. It's not good enough. One of these cubes. This is the finish end, and it turned out absolutely amazing it's almost as good as the bottom end and I was with the fan off that was my calibration cube 15 long 10 wide 5 high turned out beautiful